Uh, things in order to get your day started, the Department of Corrections is investigating hazing, harassment, and inappropriate relationships between prison staff and inmates. This is at Main State Prison in Warren. The allegations go back to last August. Commissioner Randall Liberty says the DOC worked with the Bureau of Human Resources to launch an investigation once it was aware of the allegations. In an emailed statement, the Corrections Department did not elaborate on how widespread the allegations are within the prison, but did say the investigation is ongoing. Governor Mills is introducing legislation she hopes will prevent mass shootings like the ones in Lewiston that left 18 people dead last October. Her proposal touches on preventing gun violence, strengthening our mental health care system, and keeping guns away from people who could be considered a danger to themselves or others. To address these issues, the governor wants to create a program in the main CDC to track injuries and deaths from gun violence. The bill would also create crisis receiving centers across the state so people suffering a mental health crisis can get help quickly and closer to home and also a program to keep weapons from people who could be dangerous. Dozens of Maine lawmakers say they would like two retailers to stop selling military-style semi-automatic weapons. 47 lawmakers signing a letter asking Cabela's and Kittery Trading Post to stop selling those types of guns. The letter cites the mass shootings in Lewiston and states that could change uh, helps the state heal. There is more about the story this morning by checking out today's Portland Press Herald. Reps from Cabela's and the Kittery Trading Post did not respond to the paper's request for comment. City councilors in Lewiston say they will determine possible next steps after the local union president asked them to impeach Mayor Carl Shaleen. Union President Adam Jones announced earlier this week that 95% of union members cast no confidence votes against Mayor Shaleen. He said many of them believe that the mayor is biased to, uh, against businesses and is creating a toxic work environment, among other concerns. Mayor Shaleen responded, saying that he is disappointed by the vote and that the group hasn't reached out to him to discuss any concerns. Maine's Department of Transportation is done repairing the damage caused by that pre-Christmas rainstorm. Dozens of roads and bridges were washed out. DOT officials say the last of those repairs were finished on Tuesday. That's when new pavement was put down on a bridge in the town of Strong. It's about 10 miles north of Farmington. Luckily, no big storms ahead of us. No, not, not anything close. And, you know, the winter we've had, I think, will take a nice, you know, quiet stretch. Uh, we'll take some wimpy storms uh, tomorrow, for example, is a pretty wimpy storm by February standards. It's a little messy in the morning, but after that, uh, it's just plain rain. Saturday, it's windy and cold. Sunday, it's a cold start. It's nine. Uh, and then, uh, you know, here we go. We are warming up to April showers in February. Uh, half kiddingly there because it's February and we don't normally see 50s and rain. Isn't that the truth? Hey, quick note, we told you about a missing teenager from Parsons Field earlier this morning. We have just confirmed with state police that she has been found safe. So we're happy to leave you with that note this morning. Have a good one.